been practicing in uh, hormone supplementation for like uh, almost, what, 15, 20 years? Yes. I was the first in the United States to use human growth hormone to activate the telomerase. At that time, it uh, wasn't proven yet. Yeah. And today, uh, it's proven that yes, the human growth hormone, how does it work? Why, why does everybody think you? Why do the athletes do that? Well, why do the actors and celebrities do that? They do that to activate the telomerase, which in turn keep the telomere long. The shoelace tip long. As long as the shoelace tip long, they will live longer and stay healthy longer. And you were the first to do this. I was the first in the United States to do that. I think that deserves a hand clap. Yeah. Come on. Wow. Well, you know, we have a, a, a pioneer here. Now, when you first started moving in this direction, you had, had uh, a bad heart age 40, yes, yes. and why did you stop as a doctor? You were a cardiologist. Why did you stop the traditional route? Because the tra traditional route actually treats a person when the person is sick. When, when, when a cell is diseased and aged, we call it, okay? And, and, and I want to be proactive. I want to prevent, and, and I want to be able to tell, oh, I am close to getting sick now. I want to be able to look at my heart cells and look at the telomere. Oh, it's so short. Yeah, I'm lucky. Let's do something about it and lengthen it, exercise, eat properly. I want to be able to look at the pancreatic cell, look at the telomere, how long it is. Oh, it's so short. I'm lucky. I have plenty of diabetes yet, but let me do something about it. I want to prevent these diseases from coming on to me. So that was why the, that's why the traditional medicine was, was not adequate yeah. for me. Well, and you helped me so much. I remember when I had my first blood test with you. Yeah. And uh, my wife had been noticing, as, as you're a speaker, that the facts weren't just coming like they used to. Yeah. Right, right off the tip of your tongue, it would come. Right. And you checked my hormone level and said the pregnenolone, which I never heard about, yeah. a hormone in the brain, was yeah. lower. And you said it can happen through a period of crisis. And a lot of pastors go through crisis with building programs and everything else. And so as soon as you gave me that pregnenolone, right, it popped again. And right. actually, now I'm a genius. <laughs> but, but it really, it, 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 it really, uh, it, it made a difference. Let's, let's bring the point for you that is you must check your body check it. You know, the Bible says yeah. your body is, is, is the temple in which the Holy Spirit lives. Now I want to ask yourself, how, many, how, how, much, if you, how much money, so don't answer me, but how much money have you spent last year in cosmetics, in your car, in your house, you know, in checking this, checking that? But, but how much money have you spent checking on your temple? You know, you know, and, 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 and when it comes to checking the temple, people say, oh, it, does the insurance cover? <laughs> if insurance doesn't cover, I don't want to do it. Yeah. Well, God is saying, hey, wait a minute. You know, is that how you treat my temple? You know? And when you get sick, don't, don't, don't say, why do I get sick, God? Why do you make me sick? Why do you let me get sick? God is saying, hey, go back on your account, didn't you? How much money have you spent on checking your car? You know, when you bring your car in for checking, does the insurance cover? <laughs> we bring it in anyway. Uh, you, you just you just struck something. It is First Corinthians six nineteen that says your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Now think it in the Old Testament, Solomon's temple was the grand temple, majestic. Now God says in the New Covenant. Yeah. Where's my spirit living? Right there. Right in the temple. We're the temple. We've got to check it. Greater than Solomon's temple. Right. And then he says, glorify God in your body. How am I going to do that if it, uh, the average uh, American eats 750 donuts a year? It's okay to eat that. All right, tell us. How do we do that? Huh? And it's absolutely okay to eat 750 donuts a day even. As long as you check your temple. And when it leaks, you repair that leak right away. Ah, I like you so much. <laughs> eat all the hamburgers you want. Eat all the butter you want. Yeah. You were like that when you were 20, weren't you? You were like that when you were 20. Now, we're a lot of doctors.
doctors and nutritionists are going to be calling in and saying, this is absolutely crazy. You've got to tell us why it's not. It's not because of science. The science has shown us that we, you are individual, you are a unique spirit on this planet. There was never like that billions of years ago, and there will never be another you billions of years later. Mm -hmm. You are on this planet for that time. Mm -hmm. and, and God has blessed you to come into existence. And you've got to treasure that temple. Yeah. Yeah. And, and God wants you to enjoy your life. Want you to enjoy the butter, enjoy the peanut, the donut, enjoy the, enjoy the, enjoy the, you know, the coffee and the, and the, and the butter and all that stuff, because that's enjoyment that's good. Yeah. So I taste. Good. Yeah. Now, and, and, and the way then our bodies can handle it, this, yeah. this hormone level, when yeah. it drops, we have to make it rise, and uh, you are part of that. How, how does it happen? How does this bioidentical, where is it produced so that all hormones are produced right in your body by the glands? You heard of thyroid gland, right? You heard of pancreas gland, it's a, the insulin of the pancreas, right? You heard of the pituitary gland, right? Lady, you've heard of your ovaries, right? Producing progesterone, estrogen, those are hormones. Mm -hmm. Guys, your testicles produce testosterone, right? Mm -hmm. That's hormone. Those are bioidentical hormones. Those are hormones that are bioidentical actually means God identical. It's identical to the one God's made. Anything that's not identical, mm -hmm. uh, anything that's made by these pharmaceutical companies because they can't patent testosterone, so they make something like testosterone, those are very dangerous, and actually they are dangerous, mm -hmm. and they are cancer causing. Now, you've been practicing all this time, yes. and I read that you've had over 10,000 patients. Not one of your patients over the 20-year period has ever contracted cancer. Yeah. No. That's amazing. Price. 